Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been going over some tutorials for Weaver and on the header. We're going to do a little bit more on the header and then we're going to go on into the changing these sidebars. And this is the things right here, not the sidebars, but the background image. Here's the site that we were looking at on. And if you don't have a graphics program, but you have a picture you want to cut and put in there, you can actually do it by just going in here and just choose a file. And I would choose like a file that is one of yours, not one of these free ones that are showing up here, loaded in with my windows. I'm just using this as an example. Uh, you could have a graphic artist uh, make you a site, I mean a logo, and then you could just tell them this is the size I want it to be, and that would work out just fine. And then if you don't have one, or you don't have the money to have a special one made, just use the one of the ones that's existing there with the theme, and then you can... Um, change it later. Now uh, right here, if you, just, if you don't have a graphic editor, this can actually crop an image and this is the part that will show. And I actually kind of like that right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go on down and hit crop and publish. And there you go. It does look kind of cool, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't look just like that picture that's there in the free public things. And uh, this just be an example here that we're using. Um, if you don't have something specific you want to use, uh, something that's yours, just go ahead and use one of the ones in the theme and get your blog started. Get it going. Later on, you can go back and change this header and put something in there. If you have one done by a graphic artist or maybe you come up with something that you like, you can go ahead and add it later. Uh, but anyway, give this up. In fact, you don't even have to have an image here. You can have just the words up here, and we'll show you that a little bit later on. Um, but if you have a business or something or something that you have, get a picture of some of your work or something there and have some of that cut and put in there. Uh, something related to what your blog is about. If you have that, put that in there. If you don't have it yet, don't stop until you get it to work on your site. Get it going. Uh, just use one of the default images that are in there and go on and come back and add something later. Okay, here we are back in the admin again and we're going to work on the background. Now this is if you want to have some type of image here showing up in the background. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to choose a file. Uh, none of these are going to really work for what I'm wanting to use. Uh, let me go ahead and find a different picture. Okay, here's one that I'm going to upload. Now one of the things with backgrounds, if you're using a background image, if you want just a picture, a color, you can use a different color in another place. For the background image, you need to have them so they're kind of like uh, tiled in a way so you can't tell where it starts and ends because your site continues on and it goes. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you how it looks like this and then we're going to show you some of the different features here on it. Okay, here it is here. That's the background and I actually kind of like that background and I could change this more of a denim color. Uh, these might be some nice colors to have for a site. I like these colors. Um, but you can see like there's a little line here and a line here. The image I uploaded had a little bit corner white showing. I'll need to trim the white out. And then I can do something with that so I don't have those lines show up so much if I want. I can play with my denim background image some more and make that a little nicer. Uh, anyway, I'm going to link to a uh, tutorial on making powerful black gown images. And I can put that on there. Um, but anyway, this is how you add an image to the background. And usually you want something that's kind of textured. Let me show you what it looks like with a bigger picture. Okay, this is just an image here. It has not been tiled or anything else. This doesn't usually make the best background, but it has some type of texture or something. Something like a clothy looking thing. It doesn't have to be cloth, but some type of a texture thing. And here is what it looks like, and you can tell that's not the best way. Now there's some other features and things you can put on here. You could have no repeat, and that way it just shows once and then nothing else shows up. Or you can have it just pal going horizontally across. And then you could put some other color that goes down below it. That would be another way to do it. Okay, right here it's just pal across the top. And then I have the black for the background image. We'll see what it looks like. And here you go. And I'm going to switch back to that denim background. But you can do what you want with this. Uh, you can just leave it blank. Don't even do a background. And you can go back and just change the color easily in another section. And we'll be back with that. Anyway, have fun.